Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video about an improvement that we made in Thrive Architect and now you'll be able to use the text element in a much more effective and faster way. So what happened is that up until now we basically had three elements that allowed you to add text on a page, right? You had the normal paragraph element, then you had the heading and then you had the plain text text element. And now the improvement is that we've put all of these three elements together in one single element, which will simply be called the text element. Now, why did we do this, right? Well, we did some user testing and we reached the conclusion that it's best to have all of these elements as options in a single element rather than, you know, having to go all over the sidebar and search for these elements just to add a different type of text, right? So let me show you how uh, these new options work within the new text element. So here we are on a Thrive landing page and let's say that I want to add a heading over this image, so above this image. So I'm going to go on the editor and simply drag the text element and place it above this image, right? And by default, the text will be added as a paragraph, right? And if I want to change it to a different text type, all I have to do is go on this panel here and select this drop down, right? And from here, I can select whatever uh, type of text I prefer. So for example, if I choose to display a heading, I can simply select heading one, for example, and there you go. And then of course, you know, if you change your mind, you can always go back, select a different type of heading or convert it back into a paragraph, right? Now, of course, if you, uh, if you want to search for either of these text types, as you did before on the sidebar, you can still do that, right? So if I go on the sidebar and I search for, for example, heading, as you can see, the text element will be shown and I'll have to drag it and then select the heading from uh, the drop down that I've shown you. And also, if I search for plain text, right, the text element is shown again. So you'll still have search results if you decide to search for your elements, if that's how you got used to using these different text types. But overall, it's a much more uh, simple process to use, you know, just uh, drag the, the element and simply select what uh, text type you prefer. Now, to give you the rundown of when should you use these three text types, uh, paragraphs, I'm sure you, you're familiar with them, right? Anyone is. You can basically use them to create uh, blocks of text, right? Such as these ones here. Basically, everything that you would write on a blog or on a page right, similar to the uh, example content found on this page. And then second of all, headings, of course, you're familiar with them as well. You have different types of headings. Now they have their benefits content wise, you know, you are able to uh, gain the visitor's attention from time to time if you use them in your content, but also uh, they're good for SEO, right? The Google search al algorithm is able to recognize your headings on a page and then your uh, page will be easily indexed on Google because of those headings, of course, if you use keywords and all that stuff, right? Um, and last but not least, the plain text. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one because you don't really use it on a page to create content with it, right? Instead, you use it on certain design elements, for example, because you see when you add a paragraph element, it comes with certain uh, spacing, right? Because this is uh, made in order to allow you to create content more easily. But in the case of the plain text, that isn't necessary anymore. And all of those style uh, features are removed from the plain text. So it will not inherit the fonts of the uh, of the text that you have pasted on the page. It will have a default font and it will also have, you know, a, a default uh, size uh, in terms of the font. And also those spacings will not be applied to it and uh, you'll be able to apply it on various design elements much more easily. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. Now, I really hope you enjoyed it and that you find this new improvement useful for you and that you're able to use the new text element much faster, you know, by having all of these elements as options in the new text element. Now, if you have any questions or any suggestions whatsoever, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you on that. Until the next time, feel free to browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.